Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this. It is 6.48 a.m. I'm kind of late. It is Friday, the 14th of April, 2017. Thumbs up on that. Yay! Yay! Any day that I wake up is a good day. I mean, our... Is as tough as we are to kill as individuals, we are also frighteningly uh, fragile. I mean, people die from walking down stairs. They'll just be going, do -do -do -do, thump, whap, and then gone. And it wasn't the fall, it was just while walking, bump, dead. I mean, it happens. We are incredibly fragile. But at the same time, there are people, of course, that have fallen out of airplanes. I've seen video. Of this one guy who got his uh oh parachute that's what it was parachute got tangled and it just was this thing that was just up behind him and he was whoosh and this other guy who was in his parachute was filming his friend going wah and he just went whap into the ground i mean he fell huge distance out of an aircraft but because of his parachute slowing him down and the fact he landed in a field, he lived through it. So it's like, we are hard to kill. And of course, at the same time, we are we die for no reason at all. I mean, people die from taking aspirin. It, it happens. We, we die all the time. We're just animals. Animals die all the time. Isn't that sad? Not awful? Not terrible? And yet, at the same time, it's not. I mean, it, it, it definitely affirms the fact that we are just part of the cycle of life. And it really shows how terrifying it is that the people that are in charge are just killing the planet hard. The thing is, though, you can't kill the planet. We may convert the planet into something like Mars or Mercury or Neptune. It may be unable to support life as we know it. But the planet's not dead. The planet's still here. It may be, you know, nothing living on it, but it'll still be here. It'll be sad that we'd have killed all life as we know it, but at least the planet will still be here. We can ruin its uh, ability to sustain, to sustain life, but we can't kill the planet per se. I mean, there will be a planet here even when we're gone, even if it's just a bare radioactive rock. Which hopefully we won't, but I mean, take a look at the U.S. You know, not only did we hire a, a Cheeto to be the president, but uh, it's it's the most corrupt presidency we've ever had. You know, he's done stuff that in the uh, last 11 weeks that people throughout our history have, uh, I mean, Carter got rid of his peanut farm in the 70s. Before that, some of our presidents gave away swords that were given to them to, you know, because they could have been impeached under the emoluments clause. But instead, we've got uh, an orange Cheeto that instead makes money every time he fires missiles because he owns stock in the missile companies. Conflict of interest? Uh, only a lot. He shouldn't be president. The emoluments clause says quite clearly, no. But life is life. I mean, unfortunately, you know, there is a uh, an effect that has been noted that certain people that are stupid don't know they're stupid because their stupidity is such that they don't know it. They think they're smart and normal and real and smart. But they're not. They're really freaking stupid. But they don't know it because their stupidity is such that they feel they're smart. Unfortunately, right now we call a lot of those Trump voters because no matter what happens with uh, Trump, they'll see reality as he's a good man, the best man, and anything that's happening is just other people trying to bring him down even though that's not reality. There are those people in the United States now that voted for Trump, that are now saying, if Trump follows through with his plans, then I will lose my job, I will have to go home and die. I will die if he does this. I did not vote for him to do this to me. Of course, they voted for them to do that to other people, but not to them, they're white. 
And yet, they're these same people that are saying, well, if this actually does happen, I'm going to die. They, same, same breath, say, yeah, I'd vote for him again in 2020. Yeah, it's you're that particular kind of stupid where you don't realize you're stupid. And I understand. There's a lot of people out there that I'm quite sure that I'm condemned as a social justice warrior because I feel that people are equal. My feminism only just says that men and women are equal. Yes, there are obvious differences. Testosterone means that men have superior upper body strength on average, but women produce testosterone too, just like men produce estrogen. So that's how you can get the female bodybuilders. They have a lot of testosterone with, guess what? Attendant upper body strength. It's not a, a uh, you are this way, therefore you are this. It's all chemistry. So yay. Life is fun. Life is joyous. Life is frustrating and terrifying and it shouldn't be this difficult in the slightest but it is and good morning everybody if you are a trump supporter i guess you've turned me off already and said just another cuck but you know what my view on this whole alt-right and cuck conservative thing is yeah you little children can go off and play in the mud and anytime someone comes up and go oh you're a swamp monster oh you're a cuck conservative oh yeah yeah you go off Throw your little names, children, and that's fine. Let the adults play. We're busy. So thumbs up and good morning, everybody. Uh, not a whole lot has actually happened in my life since yesterday. Um, we went to a store. They, uh, my two housemates, one of their hamsters, a dwarf hamster. He was a really nice little dwarf hamster. But something had happened, he had gotten really, really sick. His teeth were growing improperly. He couldn't eat properly, and he died. It was really sad. But yesterday we went to a store, and we got like a, oh, I can't remember what kind it is, but it's like a winter white or some such. She's a really cute, awesome looking little white dwarf hamster. Just so amazing, just so cute. I love those little things. Now, while dwarf hamsters are wonderful, and I like dwarf hamsters, I, of course, prefer a good Syrian hamster. Like this fellow that I'm dragging out right now. Oh, you always knock your water bottle over sideways. He knocked his water bottle over sideways so he can't drink. But it's Bat Ears McGee with his crinkly bat ears. They are crinkly bat ears, but of course his name is not Bat Ears McGee. His name is uh, Patches Jr. Named after his mother, Patches. She was huge. She was a pound and a half a hamster. And she, unfortunately, I don't know what it was that did it, but she was, uh, the day that she died, she was moving really slow. She was just sitting and she was not really old. You could still feel her spine and all that. She was still meaty, so it wasn't old age, but she was moving really, really slow. And then she just sat and then went away after a little while. And it was really, really sad. She was really nice. I loved her. I mean, she was also brutal and terrible. She was very brutal and savage. She had had babies and I accidentally touched one of them too early and she bit its head and her teeth just went into its head and killed it because it smelled too much like me. I felt terrible about that. So she was brutal and savage, but she was also, if you knew what hamsters are like and how to treat them properly, she was wonderful. And then she died, but he's still here. He's her little boy, one of her little boys. He's a good little guy, bad ears McGee. <laughs> Gosh. I had all sorts of stuff that I wanted to talk about and I can't remember a single, single thing about them. So what I'm going to do is, oh, one of the things that I'm really irritated about is I finally got so sick of Chrome. So freaking sick of Chrome not working right. I, I hate Chrome. So I've been trying to use other browsers. Firefox is a nightmare. 
right out of the box. It is so anti-user friendly. Every other browser I've used, if you hit control tab, it goes, starts at this side and goes tab, 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 through the tabs that you have open. Not Firefox. No, 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 no. If there's like eight tabs open, as an example, it opens up, if you hit control tab, it opens up a list of about four that you can scroll through. What about the rest? What about the other tabs? No other browser has ever done that. Opera doesn't do that. I, you know, Edge doesn't do that. You know, Chrome doesn't even do that. Firefox? <laughs> and I'm trying to, every other browser I've used, if you open, if you click on a Firefox, Firefox, on a Facebook tab, I'm not, dialog box so it opens up so you can start typing every other browser I've used you type or write or paste and then you can open up a different tab get some more information come back and then paste that in with Firefox I opened up a Facebook thing pasted in some stuff went to another tab as soon as I clicked on the other tab that open thing went boop, banished and gone no way to open it back up so if you're not fully ready to do your entire post right then and there, then your host, Firefox, is going to screw you. No other browser has done that, so <sighs> Chrome is irritating. Boy, is it irritating, but man, Firefox already has just pissed me off so much. But still, I've opened up the community page. I am hitting show more to open up a uh, and then tabbing down to the bottom, which here's another irritating frickin' thing. I hit end. Every other browser I use, it goes down to the absolute end of the page. Firefox doesn't. It goes down to the end of the page and then backs it up a bit. So to get to the bottom, like to hit show more again, I have to then scroll back down. Oh, why aren't the browsers just good? I mean, Firefox used to be wonderful. And now it's so, oh, so irritating. And Chrome is just there to here. I hit home and see if it works. No, end works to take you almost to the bottom of the page, but nothing else does. Ugh. Good morning. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is thank 20 to 25 people, which is why I've opened up this thing. I say 20 to 25 because I lose track so easily. But I wanna thank all of you kind commenters for leaving me comments. It is wonderful. You get me out of my head and into the real world, and I appreciate that to no end. So I wanna show my appreciation for thanking you by thanking you. Now, I don't make a contest of it where I get a huge bunch of people in a pool and then choose somebody from the pool and go, yes, this person. No, I don't do that. I just thank you for for commenting. Simple human context, contact, simple human recognition. Now, if I mispronounce your name, my sincere apologies. I'm terrible at names. I do my best. So, oh gosh, I don't think anyone had uh, that I had caught Nope, had, had asked for a shout out. So my sincere apologies if anybody did. I just, I didn't catch it. So so if you'd like a shout out, just type it into the comments. I catch it, you get it, definite. So first off, no y'all Martin. Thank you very, very much. And Breaker Games, thank you. Heath Barkley, thank you very, very much. And then there is Christian, thank you. Greatly appreciated. No one, <laughs> thank you. And then Tony Carter, thank you very, very much. And Adam Jamie, J-A-I-M-E. That's Jaime, Jamie, I don't know, but thank you very much. And then there is Justin D'Souza, thank you very, very much for your comment. Rainbow Six Siege Highlights, thumbs up on that. Sounds like a channel, too. <laughs> thank you very much. And then there is FireTube, thank you. That's a cool name. And Thomas Lichman, Lich, Lichman, Lichman. L-I-C-H-M-A-N. I'm not sure, but thank you very much. And then Mori Luca. Thank you very, very much. Greatly appreciated. And Hacker Man. Thank you. And then there is Cosmic Beat. Thank you very, very much. Dragostin Hirostov. I hope I'm at least close. Thank you very much. And then there is The Doctor. Thank you. And Nathan Dendinger. Dendinger. I hope I'm close. Thank you very, very much. And Chad the Lad.
thank you very, very much. And Mika Mach 5, son of a gun, I see you right there. You get another shot at it. And then, son of a gun, the Horror Files, thank you, greatly appreciated. And LJ Ocker, thank you, greatly, greatly appreciated. And then there, and there is the high, no, I was close, but I misread that. Hip Hopopotamus, thank you, greatly appreciated. And Striker 10, thank you, greatly, greatly appreciated. X Electric Pulse X, thank you very, very much. And then last but not least, Nicholas Portillo, P-O-R-T-I-L-L-O. Thank you so very, very much. Absolutely every single one of you has stated to get me out of my head and into the world. That's awesome. I have bipolar disorder and I've had depression my whole life and it's, it's tough. So I try to stay out of here and in the real world as best I can, while at the same time suffering from horrible, horrible, and yet growing social anxiety. So, thumbs up for that. Now what I wanna do, cause we're at 16 minutes, is go through and greet a whole bunch of people in their home languages. If you would like to hear a greeting in your home language, if you could just put it in the comments, how to say hello, goodbye, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, I will definitely put the morning one in. So, bon dia, dia deet, dia guet, guten tag, buenos dias, abuna de manata, Ohio, uh, la breed, uh, <laughs> my apologies, labas ritas, camusta, bonjourno, terahoma coast, yo regelt, bari luz, nihao, kadimero, bonjour, matanba, bereda, Mesa O'Haley, Bokertov, Jean Dobre, or less formally, Chest, Labdien, Dobre Utro, Dobre Rono, Priviet, Merhaba, Go Morgan, God Morgan, and of course, go forth and have the crack. And somebody else says, Gracias para, gracias para tu atención is also a nice thing to say. So thumbs up on that. And again, my thanks to Yoshi Egg 118 for having picked at least this many of my greetings out of my past uh, videos because I'd lost uh, the whole file in a hard drive crash and Yoshi Egg went and got these uh, greetings from me out of my prior videos. I could go through and listen and get the ones I've missed and all that, but that's work. Swell, so thumbs up and thank you all very, very much. It is 17 minutes and 30 seconds, so I've got a a little bit of time. I've got a bunch of stuff that I want to get done. I got to finish moving my uh, bookcase so it's not just directly behind me the way it is and blocking and everything. I want to move, there's a window on that side. I want to move my computer over up against that wall and underneath the window and so that it's looking back over here instead of at the two doorways. Yeah, it still show the doorway, but that's, they still have that a whole, more than half of the wall is just blank wall. That'd be better. So, I mean, I've got plans and I've still got doweling. I bought doweling that I wanna put in uh, across like shells and then hang my keychains from them. I still have the cardboard. I just need to get tape so I can tape all the uh, postcards onto them and start putting the postcards up back there so you can see those as well. Oh, shucks, somebody had sent me a letter and a postcard and I think I left it downstairs. Shucks, I wanted to share it with everybody too. Well though, if you could check out the uh, links in the show more, just click show more, boo, opens up. It's a huge section, really. It's got a ton of links in there, if you could check those out. One of those is my GoFundMe. It has been changed to uh, a can continued, if you can help me survive sort of thing, because I'm disabled and I can't work, and I usually get like minus 200 to minus 500 in my checking account every month. It, it hasn't been that way for a time because of your kind donations before but that's real close to running out so if you don't want to check a single link you don't have to please don't don't even look if you don't feel like it forget it for sorry i even said it really but if you could toss me a like that would be awesome i do appreciate all the positive validation for my existence i can get i think we all do really i mean it's life is brutal and hard and if you could subscribe to the channel that too would be awesome but only if you're done with it i don't want you to to, to do it because you feel bad. Pity subscriptions aren't good for me. They aren't good for you. They aren't good for anybody. 
But if you are down with it, then thumbs up. I hope to keep you as a subscriber forever and ever and ever. Thumbs up on that. I have 10 seconds left before I hit 20 seconds. I got a reaction video to work on, a game video to work on. So you take care. I will see you on the flip side. And that, my friend, is a very good thing.